WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder says that he would welcome a unification with IBF heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua later this year. He says obviously both of them have got to get past their next fights. He ain't looking past Ariola, and Joshua's got Dominic Brazil to fight on Saturday. Uh, assuming they do both get past those fights, Wilder says he's definitely ready and willing to face Joshua this year, but he has doubts about whether Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn, would actually want to take that fight anytime soon. And based on what I've seen Eddie Hearn say in some recent interviews on IFL and Seconds Out, I think Deontay Wilder is probably right. Eddie Hearn really is very keen on the Tyson Fury fight. And I think he wants to take that fight before having Anthony Joshua face Deontay Wilder. I think the rationale behind Eddie Hearn's, uh, you know, or his desire to make the Fury fight before making the Wilder fight is that the Fury fight is bigger financially right now. So in terms of risk reward, he can take that risk with the, the Fury fight because there's a massive reward. It's a huge pay-per-view extravaganza in the UK, that particular fight. But with the Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder fight, that fight would maybe take place in, in the United States, maybe take place in the UK. It's not yet as big financially as the uh, Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury fight. I think most people would agree with that. So I've, Eddie Hearn's been pretty candid in the interviews I've seen saying that the Joshua Wilder fight needs to be built. They're both with Showtime now. You know, Anthony Joshua signed a deal with Showtime. And Deontay Wilder's obviously, uh, I, I don't believe Wilder's signed to Showtime, but he works with Showtime. Whenever he does uh, anything other than PBC, he's on Showtime. His fight against Arthur Spilka, for example, was on Showtime. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to quote Wilder here directly. He says, I ain't looking past Chris Ariola, so I don't need it. I don't need it twisted like that. I'm taking this fight very serious. But if it go like the way I know it can, and I take care of business, then honestly, I'd love to get in at least one more fight, maybe October or November. I'd love that fight. Uh, B versus Joshua or even the winner of Fury Klitschko he says he goes on to say later on and I'll leave a link to this article in the description below as always he says they keep saying we're going to fight sooner or later really there ain't no sooner than now and I'm ready right now let the sooner be now really I don't think his promoter don't want it like that though so there you go that's his thoughts on Eddie Hearn not really wanting the fight right now. And as I say, Eddie Hearn wants to build it. Does Eddie Hearn really see Deontay Wilder as more dangerous than Tyson Fury? Maybe he does. Maybe it's a style thing. Maybe he sees Wilder's punching power and says, you know what? If Joshua loses to Fury, he's going to lose on points. He'll be able to come back from that. But if he lost to Wilder, it might be a devastating knockout, which could be more difficult to come back from. Promoters have to think of every eventuality it's the fighter's job to only think about victory well you know different fighters have different ways of going about these things from a psychological point of view but more often than not fighters are only thinking about victory but the promoter always has to have a contingency plan that's just good business so he has to in his mind whether he talks about it publicly or not he has to in his mind be thinking what if my fighter loses he has to be weighing up all the variables and all the different options so that's what that is. <laughs> anyway, people, let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section below. Um, as much as Wilder is saying he'd like the unification with Anthony Joshua, could that go ahead? Given that Al Heyman is his advisor? Would Al Heyman even, as much as Eddie Hearn might hold Joshua back from a Wilder unification right now, would Al Heyman hold Deontay Wilder back from a unification you know Hearn holding Joshua back from a Wilder unification would Al Heyman hold Wilder back from a Joshua unification or even a Fury unification maybe he would maybe he wouldn't he obviously let Charles Martin 
give Anthony Joshua a voluntary shot. I know it was for a lot of money, a, a more money than Charles Martin had ever seen before in his life. <laughs> so maybe that's why Al Heyman allowed it. Charles Martin was never really the golden goose that Deontay Wilder was groomed to be ever since his golden boy days. So it was slightly different. Anyway, people, let me know what you think about this situation. Drop your comments in the comment section below. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.